Welcome back YouTube, my name is Two Point Show, and for those of you who entered the giveaway, the results should be live relatively soon. I'm contemplating dropping them on the Discord, however, if you guys don't want to go through Discord, it'll be in the next video. So anyways guys, today's video, we got quite a bit longer, um, I guess, video for you. We are doing Broken Spaces, and I have yet to figure out who I'm using, how I'm going to go about it. Um, but again, for the most part, this is kind of what we're working with. Those six stars that we just skipped over are all level one, so we don't really have to worry about them. Um, and I doubt that we're going to use Sleepless, although we could. But again, it really, it really just kind of depends on what needs to be. Um, this one... Obviously, we want Gru, and we could throw Mim in there, just, just, because, I mean, Carrie, I don't know, I think that they're about the same, Carrie might even do a little bit better, um, just because, I mean, Mim is 6 star, and, well, let's be honest, no one's going to die, so, I don't know, it's, it's not anything crazy that we're working with, for sure, um, but, I do kind of know a small direction that I want to take the team. I know some of you brought up feeding Gru off to make Garuda E5, which I might do. However, I want Gru in the final team, uh, so it's it's a little hard. And I probably shouldn't have built him, um, you know, this early. But still, I would like Gru and Dantalion in the final team. So it's like, I have to build around that. I have enough copies, I think, of Horse to make him 10 star. So I could feed him off. Um, I could make him, relatively speaking, next week. Um, you know, I just kind of need just a little bit more food. I think I'm missing a few 5 stars. Outside of that, I have the 6 stars ready and done. Um, so again, I might do that way, obviously, I wouldn't recommend it, and it's not smart, but I don't really know if I want him, because I'm kind of going for an older, older meta team heroes, um, and again, Garuda is not older, I would consider her newer, Gru, however, he was the tank back in the day, um, you know, and I'm thinking he and Day and Talion could pair very, very well together, obviously, for PvE, you know, Heart Watcher's definitely in there, but you don't want her in PvP. Um, Sigmund, though, he, he could kind of go both ways. He's he's decent in PvP, for sure. Um, and, like, he's really good at PvE. So, I don't know. It is, it's a little bit back and forth of where I want to go, how I want to do things. Um, obviously, I need hero copies. Uh, but, wait, did he just do one? I just saw him do 400. That was... I'm very, very confused, and he's going to die, like, here. So that was normal. His ticks are, like, they were nothing. I probably saw that very wrong. But, uh, again, Delasium, that's one thing that he's really good at. Um, you don't really need a healer, which is weird. Um, but, as, as you can see, we have a thousand sixty-five tokens left. So we've got more than enough. We aren't going all the way, though, because honestly, I don't think that we could um, use, or we, I don't think that we could kill the last guy, so I don't really know if it's worth it. Um, I believe it would just take way, way too long. We might make it to five, we might make it to six, and uh, we need resources either way, so we'll see. And for the most part, I'm thinking this might be the team. Again, we could swap Mim out, because... He didn't do anything. Um, it is cool, though, to kind of see, I don't know, just random heroes thrown together. That's one thing that I love about early game. Is It's like, well, I don't really have anything for these three slots. I guess we'll just throw these heroes in. Like, Gru is, I mean, he's, he's alright, but he's not needed. Like, another damage dealer would work. Um, Delosium doesn't really have much of a use in this team setup, but again, it's like, who else would I use? Um, I, originally, I wanted to throw, you know, him and Ithagwa in the team, because, again, that would be super cool, but it's like, I don't know, an, an old meta sounds cool, 
and I'd rather build older heroes and have fun with them. I could always do something crazy on the main. But again, that's turning more into like a PvP account. I don't know. It's really, really weird. And we'll we'll kind of see where things go um, as the weeks progress. But still, I don't know. What are you finding your team to be strong at right now? Because again, this team is kind of just a mix of everything. It's not bad in PvP. Um, and PvE, I, I think I said around 5 to 10 placement, which is not too bad. My guild is not crazy competitive, but we still, you know, we still kind of keep up, which is, which is nice. Um, again, with the new Guild War system, that's going to be totally different and a little bit weird. Um, but still, we, we make things work, and that's really all that matters. Um. Also, I guess on that note, since we have plenty of time, Guild War, you know, although it's going to take a while to get used to, and I feel like people are going to take a decent amount of time before they're happy with a placement, I definitely think that it's it's a good change. And I only say that because, um, you know, not, not that we place first or anything, but it gives us something else to do. Because those super high-end guilds, that literally just won every single time, they now have extra competition. And the smaller guilds, like, you know, this one that I'm on right now, we can actually fight people that are close to our, you know, our level, our skill, our, you know, stuff like that, instead of losing to the same two to three guilds that we always lost to anyways. I don't know, that's that's just me. Um, and actually, I have an idea, since we, you know, we were saying Delosium didn't really do much. I want to test one thing real quick. Throw carry in there. Um, obviously, this is not the Delosium test. But after this one, I want to see how well, um, you know, throwing like a Nakia in there would be. Because I, I have one, she's not really max level at all. She's not... I don't think she has anything on her. So, you know, I'll make a cut after this. And just kind of see how well she can actually do. Let's see. That's not horrible. Again, 5-1... What is that? 2? 5-1-2? 5 one, two, five, one five Total? Alright, so the goal right now is to beat 5-1-5. Five, five. And uh, if we don't, well, you know... There's a few variables, obviously, and then we could go back and test Carry again. Uh, but, you know, Carry did a little bit better than the Mim, which is, I mean, it's to be expected. Mim is not a PvE on an early game PvP hero at all. Um, I, don't, I don't even know if I would consider him PvP or PvE at all. He's more of a, like, cheese PvP type of lineup. Um, but again, you know, as long as Nakia stays alive, which I don't really think she'll have any problem, this one, and then probably even the next one, with Heart Watcher and Gru, they do kind of decrease attack, crit, all that jazz, um, plus having the deer pet kind of top them off and increase their armor, it's very, very hard for a lot of early PvE really even PvP, to like, you know, reliably knock teams down if the deer is overleveled. That's that's kind of what I've noticed. But I mean, you don't even have to get your, your hero's max level. Like, you can just get their last ability or passive or whatever that you want. Leave them in there. They're going to be fine. Uh, Deathsworn is a phenomenal example. People throw him in. Sometimes he doesn't die and he has no gear on him. Which is upsetting, however, you know, that's just a bonus from, you know, all the updates that Idle Heroes has been doing, which is why I think more things that get added are good. No matter what it is, I definitely think, alright, that's th those are decent ticks. I, I'm, I'm a little excited to see where this is going. Um, but again, you know, back to the whole Guild War and everything, I think that as long as they're improving the game... Even if some updates suck, they're going to add really good updates. And the ones that suck, they'll learn and they'll understand, like, okay, they don't like this aspect, they don't like this, 
and they'll slowly but surely get the game figured out again. Um, I miss the old Idle Heroes days, you know, where nine stars was the max. I joined basically, I think as soon as ten stars got invented, maybe a little bit after, but I just remember um, I got, I want to say, I, I actually, I forget, it was Karim. I got Karim to like eight star. And then I was like, wow, I really, really just want to get him to 10 star. And then I think I got him to 9, or maybe I had just gotten him to 10. But, you know, someone was like, yo, back in the day, 9 star was cap. And I just remember being the weirdest thing. And I was like, wow. You know, like, it, it had already changed so much before I even started playing. And there's so many new people that are kind of coming in. And Broken Spaces used to not be a monthly event. I mean, monthly events used to not even be a thing. That is quite a bit more. I mean, so, for starters, Nakia bumped up Delosium's damage a lot. And she did more than carry and Mim. So, again, I'm totally, totally fine with that. Um, it's not significant numbers, but again, I think broken spaces, PvE, really anything, it's all about min-maxing. And funny enough, I know Delosium can go off, you know, with people like Athagwa, especially her, you know, but you throw in, um, really anyone. I mean, he pairs well with Sigmund, he pairs well with N Nakia, um, probably even Destroyer. Let's see, we don't, we don't want him. We don't want him. There we go. Um, that's the team right there. So, yeah, I mean, if we had the Phoenix, um, you know, Sigmund would be even stronger. And I know some people will probably tell me to regress the deer, as some people just do that. Um, I personally love the deer for PvP. And early game PvE, he, he helps people live so, so much. Um, you know, with the, the Phoenix being more offensive, you will get more damage. I get that. On my main account, I rock that. So trust me. I know, I know. But um, anyways, I kind of forget where I was saying. Broken spaces used to not be the same way. And I remember whenever they changed it, it was so tough. You know, it was like, how can I clear broken spaces 7? every single month and then now it's like you know obviously not on this account um but like on so many other accounts it's very very simple um so i can't wait for them to make it more challenging maybe add another wave you know maybe make it like carry and garuda like something just horrible you know something super tough that would be super cool um you know something dumb something outrageous it's cool because it's like at first, it's so hard, and then now, it gets slowly easier and easier whenever you start to figure things out. That is also fairly acceptable damage. I figure I don't want this video to be too, too long, so we'll start skipping through some of these. Wow, we only did 7%. Um, let's see. We'll smash it. Yeah, yeah, we'll just, we'll kill this one. Margaret waves. That is what it is. We'll kill all the Gru waves. Um... We'll, we'll watch it first, you know. This one, I, I just realized, it's, it takes forever because I have a Gru of my own and a Sigmund. Um, and then going against double Gru, that would literally take forever. Um, plus Garuda. Garuda adds so long to all these fights. Okay, two, four, three? Okay, that's, I mean, that is acceptable. Look at Delosium keeping up with nine star Sigmund just saying so that was two percent that wasn't honestly too bad probably 45 tickets or something oh wow that was quite a bit um so again this is kind of like our stopping point we'll load in we'll see how much damage we're doing but that is basically it i know there's no point in smashing this and there's no point in trying to go further as it would probably take 120 130 tickets maybe again cc is kind of a pain but anyways i just wanted to show you guys that i'm still making small progress on this you know we got heart watcher higher up um i want to say we also got sigmund higher up um Gru was not 10 star last month i don't even know if we had one um and then garuda was not e4 
So again, we're making small, small progress, and it definitely helps. Last time, I think we stopped at the Margaret Wave, um, but again, we got Nakia. That's a little bit more damage, which everything adds up, really. Um, so again, I don't really know where I'm going to go. I know a, a select few heroes that I want to build, but again, for the time being, it just doesn't make too much sense. Um, but again, let me know if I should feed Horus to Garuda, as I don't really want to build Horus, but again, I'm open to it. Um, I feel like I should listen to you guys, so let me know down below. But also, what is some other content you guys want to see? Um, I am basically open for anything, and I have a little bit more time on my hands the next few days. So, anyways guys, that is basically everything that I needed to say. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and good luck to whoever the winner is. Um, I'm going to pick them basically 24 hours after recording this, um, you know, and then it'll take a little bit longer for them to, you know, or for me to make a video, but I'll make it as quick as I can and then get it out. So I'm basically just waiting for the 72 hour mark. So anyways, guys, I really, really wish you all luck. Whoever needs it, I really hope you get it. Either you're a low VIP, maybe you're VIP zero, or maybe you just need an extra month, you know, when you're a high spender, you just need a month off, whatever it is. I hope I can help you guys out. But anyways, that was our little broken spaces journey. Hopefully next month we can clear it. It doesn't seem that positive, but maybe, who knows? You never know. Anyways, guys, my name is Two Point Show. Remember, stay safe, stay blessed. The world is, is awesome, guys. So spread some love. And uh, consider subscribing if you guys enjoy my content, like the video, share it around, tell me what's your favorite and what do you like to see the most. So anyways guys, my name is Two Point Show and hopefully I will catch you all in my future videos. Peace.